This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. In today's video, we're going to be comparing this $20 pack of crayons from Japan versus this $2 pack of crayons from our local Walmart. What could possibly be the difference? Let's find out. A whopping $20 more for this pack of crayons, what exactly makes it so much more expensive? As far as I can tell, Crayola crayons are made from paraffin wax, whereas these Japanese brand crayons are made with rice wax. They also, I think, use natural colors from vegetables. And Crayola, from all I can tell, they use... They use pigments that I, I don't know where from, but they use pigments. I really want to compare these two because in my mind, a crayon is a crayon. It's a wax coloring tool for kids, but I think it would be really fun to play around with, but I specifically want to see the difference between $20 and $2. I say we do a swatch, test them out and compare the two. Let's go ahead and split this down the middle. This is going to be our Crayola. And this is from Turner Color Works. I'll just call this Turner. I think most of you are pretty familiar with the standard Crayola crayons. It's been a while since I've opened a pack myself. Ooh. Here we have our 24 colors. Oh boy. 24 colors is actually quite a bit, I think. I'm sorry, all of these names were really normal until I got to Blutiful which is a combination, I guess, of the word blue and beautiful. Interesting. Feels like a crayon. It's got the usual, I don't know, pieces coming off of it that I'll have to wipe away. I am curious to see if the Japanese crayons are similar. I mean, they are wax, so I can only assume that they also have the debris coming off of them, uh, but we'll see. And our white, which, well, all right, so there is our swatch of, uh-oh, we've got, we've got crayon dust everywhere. They're very colorful, they're vivid, they're bright, they felt smooth, honestly. I really want to create art with these now. But now it is time to swatch our Japanese crayons. Here is our fancy box. Ooh, we've got our color sheet. I don't even know what it says about each of these, but wow. We've got a little bit about each color. I'm, I'm curious. We've got, oh gosh, this is so fancy. We've got a wax sheet. And here are our crayons. Side by side, obviously, the North American crayon. Actually, is, is crayon? Is Crayola even? Actually, wait, 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 wait. Okay, Crayola is an American company. So here we have our American Crayola crayon. And this is our Turner Japanese crayon. It's got this sort of like earthy look. It's it's just a very plain label with just the name, no decoration, no stripe. This is a very classic cute look. I have to be honest, I, I really like this classic look of a Crayola crayon. This one's a lot more rustic looking. Actually, I was curious. So here is the sheet that came with the crayons and here is a translator with Google. So this is our crayon color chart. What does it have to say about the red? I'm curious. Garlic. Oh, oh no. Okay, hold on. Let me take a photo of it and I'll show you guys. Okay, so according to this screenshot I took, it says maybe a scarlet is the red. Red brought to Japan by South Inspection Ship often found in the wool of the earth, especially strong yellowish in scarlet vermilion. Okay, so it looks like these are little descriptions on maybe common uses for what the dye was used for and a little description about each color. For the pinkish one, it says red over dyed with pale indigo flowers, similar to the color of red plum flowers. Say the pale crimson color, including purple crab. Ooh. And then we've got this darkish red color. It says palm. Um, uh, use, use this for knitting and weaving. Make a, th make a thing. Interesting. Okay. I like my greens and blues, so I thought I would take a photo of the green and see what it said at the top there. It says, young grass color. It was clear like a young leaf that sprouted, say yellow green, always after 
winter, a fresh sound like spring. It is a color name. That's pretty cute. I'll go ahead and put our crayons here at the bottom. Okay, my Japanese is pretty limited and I just realized how badly I lined that up. I was too busy focused on how bad my handwriting was. But one color that stood out to me because I only know so many words was Kitsune, which is fox. So it's that little brownish orange color. It's like the color of a fox, which is super cute. Anyways, I'm going to swatch these now. But I will say they definitely feel a lot smoother than the Crayola crayons. Ooh, I absolutely love this, this green color. So I'm thankful that there is definitely an obvious difference in both feel and look of these crayons. They were very smooth going onto the page. They aren't leaving a bunch of crumbs that I need to wipe away, but that is obviously going to be something that's different because these are $20 and these are $2. And now that we have swatched our crayons, I want to do a piece and compare them. So let's get to doodling. But before we do, you know we have to thank the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. If you're looking to make an art gallery, a portfolio, even an online shop, Squarespace is the place to go. Putting your online gallery together has never been easier with automatic image scaling, instant image importing from social media accounts, and the many templates to choose from that are so easily customizable to your fitting. Just look here. I made my own website and I'm a ding dong and I had no issues and if I did I could just use their 24-7 email support. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash Casey Golden to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right all right all right we've got $20 crayons to compare. So I thought it'd be fun to sort of just doodle around with these crayons and just kind of come up with ideas, just get a vibe for them, see how I feel, compare them, and just overall doodle. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Before I continue, I can't get over just the amount of wax that comes off of these crayons is... I mean, they're $2. I don't, I don't want to sit here and poo poo on crayons. I'm also nostalgic for them. You know, they are for children, but geez Louise, the amount of just like dust that comes off of them, it's a lot. Uh, for some reason, the first thing that I thought of um, was a cat. Oh my gosh, I just love how there is just not a bunch of dust coming off of this. Also, I don't know if it's because the crayon is just thicker and shorter, but I sure drew bigger. <laughs> this actually reminds me back in high school, so 2006, seven or eight, I actually did a challenge, I challenged myself to create a crayon illustration every single day for a year, just sort of like a diary situation. So every day I would do a simple crayon illustration of just something that happened that day. I. I think I kept them. Oh my god, I'll be so sad if I didn't actually keep them. I hope to goodness that they are in my closet right now because if they aren't, I will be very, very sad. I'm gonna look in my closet right after I record this and uh, see if it exists because I'm very curious now. If I, when I moved to Canada, I, I, I threw a lot of my old art away because I just, I really tried to downsize. So I don't know if it exists, but I will see if it does. <laughs> Oh no, that's, oh gosh, it, this just reminds me of using, oh, it's just everywhere, it's just everywhere. Oh no. Anyway, there's our doodle of a cat vomiting, uh, a rainbow. <laughs> also, I've never used $20 uh, crayons before. It's fun to just do sloppy, scribbly artwork like this and not worry about what it looks like and just kind of, just kind of talk and doodle. Were you here for the comparison? Um, here's your comparison. $20 versus $2 is quite a bit. So yes, there's, there's quite a difference. The only surprise I have is that, like I mentioned before, I wasn't aware that there was such a thing as like, I don't even know if these are artist grade crayons or if these are just how children's crayons are in Japan. I feel like the best artwork I create these days is having fun and not having the pressure of creating good artwork. Does that make sense? That's always my biggest advice. Um, when someone has art block and they ask me if I have any tips on getting out of art block, I always tell them, 
don't put that pressure on yourself to create good artwork. Create doodles or scribbles or just have fun with your artwork. Create something silly just to make yourself smile or laugh and go into doodles or drawings without that pressure of creating good artwork and that always gets me out of art block. Honestly, I really do. I think I'm actually enjoying the Crayola crayons more. I just feel like I have more freedom with them and I feel like there's just less pressure to actually create something good. They only cost two dollars. They, despite them being really messy with all of the residue that they are leaving, I feel like they really get the same effect that the twenty dollar crayons have. Why do I just want to scribble hair on like crazy? Like just kind of scribble it on. Oh! <gasps> I mean, I know I'm heavy handed. I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> I'm too heavy handed. I just, I, I pressed down way too hard. That was my bad. Oh no, I'm sad about the brown. Okay, let's give her a little, little pink cheeks. I kind of like the way Crayola crayons blend also. It's kind of nice. Don't layer well. I mean, the Crayola crayons didn't layer super well either, but I think uh, they, Oh my gosh, y'all. I need to chill with my heavy hand. Oh no! I like how it was just the, uh, the pointed tip. They aren't layering as well, I feel like, compared to the Crayola ones. Well, maybe if I keep working at it. It's getting very thick and sticky. Rice is kind of sticky, right? Maybe it's because it's rice. I definitely feel like Crayola crayons actually layer way better. <laughs> than the more expensive counterpart, which is interesting. Yeah, I've gotta be honest, I, I don't know. Each of these actually has their own pros and cons. Obviously these are a little bit messier in the sense that there's just, there's a lot of crumbs and stuff you have to wipe away and get rid of. This one, they go down a lot more darker and more solid. However, I feel like the Crayola crayons, they layer better, which is interesting. It's hard to say. I think I just enjoy the vibe of how childish the Crayola crayons are. I don't know if it's because I feel nostalgic. I can kind of just scribble some stuff down and have fun with it. Whereas with this one, maybe I just feel more pressure to create actual good art with them. Let's do one last little scribbly doodle. Um, let's do like a lake. We'll do like a circular, oh gosh, a circular little lake. Trying to create some sort of like texture, but I'm not sure that that's really working. That's kind of cute. Should I put some like red flowers? How did I forget that uh, crayons don't really layer well in that short of time? Oh no. I love this green. Have I mentioned that I love this green? <laughs> I don't think I have yet, except that I totally have. Oh gosh, I love this green! <laughs> Definitely give points to the Japanese expensive crayons for the color because the colors are just so earthy and good. Ooh, okay, so I was having issues with these layering before, but the greens seem to layer quite well. This doodle is a lot more cohesive compared to the, the Crayola one. I, I don't know, I felt like the shading just wasn't really going. Maybe it just depends on the color. This is turning out much more clear than the Crayola Doodle, obviously. You can see the details a lot better. It's not as blurry. The, they're layering so much better, which is so strange because I felt like I was having issues with it layering before and suddenly it can layer. Interesting. All right, well, I guess it just depends on what you're trying to do. I. I really feel like this doodle looks better compared to this one for sure. Well, there it is, our $20 versus $2 crayon comparison. Obviously, I do feel like they both have their pros and cons, um, but you know what? I guess it really just depends on the vibe you're going for and how you feel like working. Thank you guys so much for watching and a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. Follow the link in the description if you want to make your own website. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay golden, bye.